The Miami Dolphins and Denver Broncos aren't scheduled to play against each other during the 2021 season, but they kind of went head-to-head -head in the draft. As it turned out, each team took a player coveted by the other team, according to NFL reporter Michael Silver. This includes running back Javante Williams, who Silver says the Dolphins had targeted with the 36th overall pick near the top of the second round until the Broncos moved up to take him. Denver gave the Atlanta Falcons a fourth-round pick to move up from 40th to 35th overall while also getting a sixth-round selection in the process. After getting some intel from an unnamed source that the Dolphins, who were four spots in front of Denver, were planning to select Williams, Broncos GM George Patton hastily negotiated a trade with the Atlanta Falcons to jump one pick ahead of Miami, Silver said. Another rookie GM, Atlanta's Terry Fontenot, asked Patton for a fourth-round pick. Patton agreed but successfully pushed for Atlanta's pick near the end of the sixth round in return, telling Fontenot, come on, Terry, this is a great deal. Shortly after swooping in and taking Williams 35th overall, Patton got a text from a person in the draft room of one of the Dolphins' AFC East rivals congratulating him for thwarting Miami's plans. With Williams off the board, the Dolphins selected Oregon safety Javon Holland. After the second night of the draft, GM Chris Greer denied any disappointment that Williams was gone before the Dolphins picked. No, as we work through it, we're very cognizant of what's going on and around and for us, Greer said. We have good players at the running back position. We're looking to upgrade the roster at every position. For us, the players that we liked there were there. Javante is a good player. There were a lot of good players, but for us, the guys we picked were very happy to get. From this end, missing out on Williams was painful because the Dolphins could have used that kind of back at that spot in the draft, but getting Holland at 36 looks like a great selection. Not that it's the reason the Broncos made the move, but it was the Dolphins who seemingly thwarted Denver's plans in the first round. Patton, per Silver, was looking to trade back into the 20s in the first round after taking Alabama cornerback Patrick Sertain 2 ninth overall and the object of his affection was defensive end Jalen Phillips. Patton's hopes ended when the Dolphins took Phillips at number 18. These types of moves, non-moves, potential moves that don't materialize happen every year. It's all part of the draft process. While it doesn't mean anything in the aftermath, it does make for an interesting game of what if.